Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7L today. Got some more crafting for you guys. But in addition to crafting, we also have a bunch of ancient inheritance gear to roll. I even have a couple pieces from the arena shop and I'm quite excited to see how they turn out. So I guess we'll start with the least exciting part, uh, which are the... Um, Actually, this is a ring. You know what? Let's start with the ring, right? Why not? Let's go ahead and do it. We'll throw in this lifesteal ring that I don't really need. And, oh, that's a... There's two minerals kind of on the effectiveness. It's kind of low. But we do start off really strong with a nice uh, defense roll. Now, only defense set. If this rolled effect resist, I would be very happy on an effectiveness roll. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to continue on that for now. I guess we'll hold on to it. I think this is the piece I was referring to. So this is the boots. Um, yeah, let's just throw some things in here, see what we can manage to scrounge up. Got some effectiveness. Uh, not really sure if I want effectiveness on these types of boots, but... Hey, perhaps it's good on somebody. Uh, got, ooh, got some speed. Actually, if this thing rolls a bunch of speed, might be able to tolerate it. Oh, now it's going into effect resist. Now it's a really weird piece, and I don't know what to feel about that. Um, that's all on the video, so if you guys have a idea of who to use these on, or if you've been using these pieces, let me know uh, what units... But let's try this one. I hope it doesn't roll attack. Because <laughs> injury users tend to be HP scaling bruisers. Nice little crit chance roll, kind of on the min roll side. But I'll take it. Okay, another min roll. It's kind of like a really low HP roll. That's a good speed roll. I'll definitely take that. If we roll a bit more speed, I'd be very, very happy. Come on now. Just, just don't, just don't roll attack. That's all I hope for. Nice! Good HP roll. Okay, very excited about this weapon now. It can be pretty good on a lot of HP scaling bruisers. I really kind of want to make a injury bellion. Um, yeah, she's she's been pretty... Um, she's been a pretty decent option to go into standard teams if you bring her on injury. So let's see if we can get a... Oh, there's connecting. That must be something good, right? No, unfortunately not. Uh, you know what? Let's go and craft a piece so we can throw it in as fodder. That's what I like to do instead of wasting some charms. So let's craft a single weapon. See if we get anything good. Ooh, actually, that seems pretty good. Uh, <laughs> let's see if we can craft something else. Um, yeah, let's throw that piece in. That's not too great. I have way better uh, destruction pieces. But let me test this lifesteal weapon now. I'm a little bit curious. Mm, kind of a low HP roll, so not, not a huge fan of that. Alright, let's see if we can get one last good roll here. Come on. Oh, another 4 speed? That is looking juicy. So, one kind of low HP roll, one low crit roll, but you know what? I'll take it. That is definitely worthwhile. Okay, um, we just had a weapon, so let's try another weapon here. This piece, I don't really know how to feel about it. It's a great, like, Pirate Captain Flan carrot piece, uh, if you don't modify any of the stats. Now, if it keeps rolling, if it keeps max rolling HP like this, I am a huge fan. Huge fan of what I see right here. Alright, come on, let's roll some speed in here. Nice, very nice. Three speed, not too shabby. We're going to bring this to plus 12. If it rolls HP or speed, very happy camper. All right, so let's see, please. Ooh, now it's a bit weird. Now it's a bit weird, because with the attack, I mean, it's still a decent piece. You Again, Carrot, um, Power Captain Flan, like all those units can really utilize this. I would really appreciate just one more speed roll. I'm really lacking speed on some of my speed swords. Come on, speed set sword, come on, four speed. Ooh, that's, the stats are spread a bit thin. It's pretty good rolls overall. The stats are just spread a bit thin. I don't know how to feel about that. 
Alright, let's try this one. That's a ring. And this is from the arena season. So let's see if this can roll some speed. Or dodge speed and mineral defense and effectiveness. Sounds about right. Okay, come on. We really need uh, a speed roll in the mix. Especially because these pieces can't be reforged, so you're banking on whatever they roll here. Uh, defense could be okay. If he keeps rolling this kind of bulk, we can always mod out the effectiveness for something else. If he keeps rolling like this, I might be okay with it. Let's see what we can do. Bring it to plus 12. Ooh, that's kind of a low health roll. Not really sure who would partake in this. I really wish it rolled some speed. But I think I'll hold off on it for now. Again, this is a great carrot piece, and a Kawazu piece, right? Um, if you were building an effectiveness Senya, it could be a good piece for that. Speed effectiveness, right? Okay, let's try this one. I'm really excited for the, um, the injury pieces. We'll throw in some of this random junk that we don't really need. Oh, nice crit, uh, crit chance roll. Unfortunately, we rolled the effectiveness, but that can be modded for defense percent. So I'm not all too concerned with it. Let's throw this piece in here. Come on. Oh, nice! Whoa! Do we just get a 6% uh, crit chance roll along with 4 speed? Oh, the Bellion Dreams are alive. If we just need to roll like HP, speed or crit chance, one more time. If we roll another crit chance, this piece is absolutely stellar. Okay. Oh, nice. Got some good successes in here. That's what we like to see. Throw one more. Come on. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. That is... Absolutely insane! Wow! Look, we can just mod this effectiveness, right? We go and mod it for some defense percent. I know 11% is is not the greatest, but compared to the effectiveness roll, it is not bad at all. Ideally, ideally, we would have um, had a roll into the HP somewhere, but that's pretty good. Injury Bellion is coming along. Oh, this is a fantastic piece. Uh, I'm mostly looking forward to the chess piece because my Alencia will definitely appreciate the upgrade. But yeah, let's let's try this one out. Um, that's not a really great piece there. Ooh, rolled twice into speed. Hey, I'll take it. It rolled twice. It went 3-3. Three, three. It's min rolls, but not too bad. Uh, another min roll on crit damage. This piece is not looking as great, even though the starting substats were just perfect, right? Everything that you'd want on an HP Bruiser. Thank you for a max roll into the health. Come on, let's get this going. One last roll, one last roll. Throw a couple of these in. Okay. Um, let's see here. Great success. Oh, we did! Nice! We hit the crit chance too. Pretty good. Like what I'm seeing, not the best rolls overall, but you can't really mess up a piece like that, right? Okay, this piece just, it has to roll HP, crit damage, and speed. That's all I'm really looking for. That one crit chance roll is fine, but I don't need any more than that one. Nice. HP and speed. Unfortunately, the HP is a little bit on the lower side. Uh, not too big of a fan of that, but we can continue going. Let the, I believe it was a chess piece. Let me just grab a few of these charms. Should be okay. Um, I think I... Oh yeah, there we go. I knew I had more of these charms. Let's grab like 18 of these. And we come back here. Oops, I actually shouldn't have exited that menu. Okay, let's uh, let's dive back into this. So, again, not looking for crit chance. Um, just anything else. Oh, didn't need the crit chance. Not on my Alencia. She's kind of... She's kind of capped at this point. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks like this is going to be uh, a, a Bellion piece. So... That's a little strange. So look, my Alencia has 
absolutely insane gear. Maybe I need to change a few more pieces around because look at this, right? It is great gear. Uh, that's 21 speed. You can't really replace that. This I want to replace. The crit damage, right, is not too great. Uh, and her crit chance isn't um, ideal. So if I replaced it with this, see, she'd be fully capped on her crit chance, but she have no crit damage. And that's the part that's a bit lacking. And as you can see, these necklaces, I mean, these pieces are rolling very, very well. Um, yeah, not really anything I can top that with. This this piece, you know, penetration. I guess I could modify the crit chance away for some speed. That's always an option. Yeah, this piece, I mean, look at that. Look at those boots, right? Absolutely insane. So, yeah, maybe Alencia could use this, but if I get rid of the 6%... Um, crit chance there. Let me just put something that doesn't have crit chance. It would still be too much, right? It would still be a little too much. I want to get rid of 6% more crit chance. I guess I can get rid of this too. I can put some uh, defense here. If I do that, then Alencia would actually be pretty nice. Yeah, I could use this piece. I could actually technically use that piece. Um, yeah, we can modify this for speed. We can modify this for defense and I think she'll look pretty good overall because she'll be brought up to 22 KHP again and just that her crit damage will be a bit low right her crit damage will be a bit low hmm not a huge fan of that crit damage drop uh, do we have any more injury stuff let's see I'm trying to build Alencia now even though well I mean I guess that was kind of the point hmm feel like I mean, we lose 6% health but we do gain a we do gain like 10 speed from that though we do lose more even more crit damage which is the main issue I guess that we're being faced with here I don't think yeah 21 speed can't be beat with this um, can this be put in I don't think so Again, I think this is more of like Bellion pieces, like look at this, that's like Bellion stuff, right? Uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of tough at this point to to switch up Alencia's build. If I use this, it would be kind of nice. It would be kind of nice. Because um, I would want to put her onto Ed's artifact. Ideally, that's what she'll be on. Right now, she would actually be on her... Because I'm using an ancient hand and uh, gear is kind of being swapped around. Normally she looks like this because she gets 15% crit chance. I've really been wanting to switch her to Ed's artifact. It could make up for the crit damage loss uh, in the long run. I get more speed. I get a bit more uh, consistency. Yeah, I'll think about it. But that is essentially what my Lencia would look like, which is pretty good. Um, but let's let's go back and hit the crafting. That's what you guys are here for. So, I think we've used all of the gear that we got for free. Yeah, some of the things I didn't plus 15 all the way, just because I want to see if I have any units that need them first. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to go for some chess pieces in the lifesteal department, because I want to go for some ML Bologna upgrades. My ML Bologna is not looking too great right now. She needs a lot of help. Um... I don't think I need any of these right here. This uh, this could be okay in terms of effect resistance. Yeah, let's let's uh, try some of this effect resist stuff. All right, I don't really want to roll the speed with counter. Okay, so let's try some of these. We'll save that one for later. We'll do this one first. I really want speed if it's going to be resist. Oops, let's not throw that in. Oh, that's a uh, that's a uh, abysmal rolls right there. Would have been nice if both of them rolled four speed, but that's not the case. Oh, nice. Got. Wait a minute. No, that's a that's a single roll. I thought it was two. I thought it was uh, sorry. That was two rolls. I thought it was a single roll. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's save our epic crafts for that. What do I need to go for here? Do I want a necklace? I might need to go for a better necklace on my Bologna. So let's go for a craft here. It's either a necklace or ring. Let's see what this re yields. Uh, that's a four speeder, so I kind of have to test that. I 
don't really see anything else that's of use. Okay, let's try some rings. I think a ring, because I, I have some penetration necklaces, and you can actually get some penetration necklaces from the um, Nightmare Labyrinth. Oh, I'm not going to go on to that anymore. You can get some from the Nightmare Labyrinth, and those are actually really, really nice, as long as they don't roll crit rate for, uh, for Bologna. So we're going to sell off all of these. Yeah, make some gold back. And let's hop into the ring. So hopefully I get... Uh, looking for lifesteal with attack percent main stats. Not really getting anything that I need. So we'll move on. Attack percent main stat on lifesteal gear. It's very specific gear. But hopefully we'll be able to extract some of the pieces as well. And then be able to make off with... Uh, with some conversions. Okay, let's see. We'll extract all of the lifesteal pieces we come across. There we go. Let's ex oh, there's a couple more here. Right, extract those. And now, I'm gonna sell all these off. Make back some gold. Alright, there we go. No need for me to extract. I know some of you guys uh, ask in the comments, like, why don't you extract some of these pieces? I have a lot of gems already, or the um, the equipment souls, or whatever they're called. Um, and I, do, I don't need a ton of them, because I don't have enough gems to go around. That's my limiting factor. This piece is just weird. I'm going to roll it just because it has four speed. And it has pretty decent defensive stats, so it could be used as like a filler piece, for sure. I'm going to save all these lifesteal ones. Ooh, nice little speed. Alright, let's try that. Another one in there. Come on, four speed. No, that's unfortunate. Okay, let's extract some of this life steal. Extract that one too. All right, as you can see, yeah, 600 something. I didn't get to see what the other one was, but we have three epic crafts. So let's jump into this. Let's switch switch things up a little. And I hope I get something with crit damage. I just need crit damage, speed, health, defense. Ooh, actually, that's pretty good. I just don't I don't want crit chance on it. That might be good for somebody else, just not Bologna. Uh, this might actually be good for somebody else too, like Champion Zerato, just not for Bologna. Um, she doesn't need crit chance, and she'd rather prefer a bunch of crit damage and speed. Again, with the crit chance, but, you know, you lock it to try. It's an epic piece, it has crit chance and defense. It's decent for something like a Champion Zerato. Not that many people use him anymore, but uh, still an option that's available. Seaside Bologna could have also used that one with HP defense and uh, crit chance in there. Ooh, look at this piece. Attack speed crit damage with effect resist. Not too bad on a counter set. I'll take it. Um, this piece is weird. It's effectiveness, but it has speed. I don't really want it because it's on destruction. But let's try this one out. I'll throw the plus six in. No need to waste that EXP. You got crit damage roll. I'll take that, even though it's not a great roll. Got another crit damage roll, and it's yet again not another great roll. I'll kind of hold on to this. We'll let it marinate there. And let's keep on moving. Uh, nothing, wow, nothing in this one. Big dud. Okay, uh, not the best stuff going on here. Hmm. Okay, let's sell off a bunch of these pieces. So if you guys are, uh, if you guys had rolled your ancient inheritance gear, let me know how they went in the comments down below. Always excited to see good gear rolls, right? Uh, I get to live vicariously through you guys and <laughs> your successful rolls. Well, some of mine didn't turn out awful. Uh, they're also just a little bit underperformed in terms of their rolls. A little bit more min rolls than I would have liked. Although, um, I believe it was the necklace. Necklace rolled really, really well. Uh, I don't really want that piece. Not enough good, correct substats for me to work with. Um, let's see here. No life steal. Wow, just no life steal. We got like one piece there. Can we get something good? Ooh, that is, uh, I don't really know if I want to roll that. I mean, it has speed. 
Guess we'll roll these epic pieces for speed. You never know. Um, no, no lifesteal gear. This is why conversion gems have been one of the best things added into the game. Let's see if I can uh, make some magic happen. Let's go with a plus six here. No, I was, I was hoping for a double speed roll, but that didn't happen. All right, let's try for the double speed here too. Just throw in some fodder. No need to waste this plus eight. Ooh, effect resist. Not the best thing on a lifesteal piece on a flat attack main stat. Okay, um, let's just sell some of the others here. I know I sold some lifesteal pieces in there, uh, but you'll see that we kind of have the conversion gems. Alright, so let's go for some attack percent ones, and we'll go for lifesteal. Let's see what we can get. Ooh, not quite, not quite there. Um, actually, do I want lifesteal uh, attack percent ones? We could actually go for HP percent. I think HP percent would be better. What am I doing? I have no idea, but we only have one HP gem, so hopefully it will be good. Always need some more HP percent lifesteal stuff. Ah, uh, that's not great. This would have been great on a speed set. Look at that. That's perfect tank stats right there. I'm going to roll it anyway, see if it's a, a nice little off piece. Maybe we'll do some lifesteal crowd shenanigans one day. I, I highly doubt it. Um, <laughs> lifesteal LR crowd, right? Totally the way forward. Let's see if we have more uh, of these gems we can open. Yeah, we do. Okay, good. We have a lot of them. I'll grab three for now. I have a feeling we will need these. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's do these. Come on, crit damage, uh, not the best, not the best. Bologna looks for very specific pieces. Ones with no crit chance, but you want crit damage in bulk and a bit of speed. So sort of like this, but mm, kind of not a huge fan of the effect resist or the effectiveness. But if I can get a bunch of speed or a bunch of crit damage, it might be worth keeping. We'll extract all the lifesteal gear in a bit. Oh, hey, that went double speed. That's pretty good. When like a four and a three. Come on now. Crit damage roll. I mean, I can't complain about that, even though it's um, it's kind of a low roll. It's, not, it's a five. Max is seven and the min is four. Oh! Why, hello there. I mean, this is a plus 15 piece regardless. That is a lot of speed. Right, come on, let's roll speed one more time. Let's not disappoint here. Okay, I'm gonna craft a ring, and we'll toss that in. So let's go for the ring craft. Let's go for Banshee. Who knows, maybe we'll get another excellent ring here. No. Um, attack? Actually, that's not bad. That's a pretty decent ring. That's a pretty decent ring for like a BBK, a K-Ron, you know, effect resist DPS build. This doesn't seem too great because it has attack with crit chance. The crit chance is a good roll though. I might keep that. <laughs> I might keep that because uh, this lifesteal might, might be good. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's try that piece. Come on now. Let's go. We need some speed. Go speed! Ah, oh, it went crit damage. Another mineral crit damage too. But the Reforge makes it look okay. <sighs> Just not not really for Emma Bologna, is it? Might be okay for somebody else. Not for Emma Bologna. That's unfortunate. But let's try let's try some more conversions. She needs uh she also needs attack as a substat, so I completely overlooked that. And crafting is a complete pain sometimes. Crit chance. See, like, this is, again, a decent piece if it rolls well. It's a lot of low rolls. It could, it could roll well. That's the main thing. Uh, you know what? I think I will, let's test some rolls, right? Let's just throw some stuff in here. Let's test the rolls. If they're bad, we'll extract them. Uh, that might be okay. Uh, I rolled flat, and I don't really want that anymore. Let's see if I can grab a few more... 
um, charms here. I believe we had... There we go. What am I working with? I'm working with rings, so we'll just grab all these. Probably need them. Alright, so let's try this one. Oh, that's a nice defense roll. Okay. Ah, oh, it's a flat defense roll. I don't really know. Yeah, all the things start off really low on that piece. Not sure if I really want to go into that. So let's try this one. Rolled effectiveness. Now that's a dud because it's a purple piece. So you already lost the roll to begin with. But hey, at least we get to extract all of these things. And get more cores. Okay, um... Yeah, let's, let's hop back into the conversions. And we'll see. Did I run out of HP ones? Yes, indeed. So let me try. Let's grab two more. So we're looking for very specific pieces, but we'll take anything else that's usable along the way. There's no use to in foddering those with good potential. Okay, let's do this one. Uh, defense effectiveness speed, not quite. It does have speed, and it's an epic piece, so I will roll it. But I doubt that it'll do better than the other one that we just had. Oh, look at that beautiful piece! It, it can be good. It can be good. We can modify crit chance out for attack, right? This could be a good piece. This could be the perfect piece that we're looking for, as long as it doesn't roll crit rate. Um, but if it rolls a bunch of crit rate, I also probably won't complain. Oh, double crit damage roll, but it's so low. Look at that. It looks like there's one roll into this thing. Defense is a mid-roll. Mm, not sure how I feel about this. Let's see, plus 12. Four speed. I don't know, it feels it feels like it's uh, like a purple piece and it's not even rolling that well. If it rolled high, if it rolled high throughout the whole thing, maybe. Oh, it's just a, that's just a disappointment though, isn't it? It's just ever so slightly disappointing that Oh, that that kind of hurts. But okay, let's go back to crafting here. Um, maybe we can score a hit on the chess pieces. I know we have three more epic crafts, so let's try that. Ooh. Again, see, it would have been nice if there was crit damage instead, but all the all the other rolls are low, like the HP roll is low. Of course the effect res roll is high. Effect res with effect uh, effectiveness on the same piece is never really too good. Crit chance speed defense. Oh, see, again with the crit chance, it's good. It's a good piece, but not quite what we're looking for. Um, no, nothing here. Try once more. This is not quite what we're looking for either. This looks like a decent piece with four speed. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think, wow, that's about it. We're gonna have to finish up the rest of our materials, and then I guess we'll call it a day. Let's see if these can roll well, though. I can also go for convert. I have some conversion gems with lifesteal. Ooh, that's, um. That's a little questionable if I want that min roll there. Starting off really high with a 5% chance max roll. And then there's another low roll defense, so not quite up my alley. And I think, yep, there was one more piece that we can uh, give a whirl. Let's throw in the resist piece here. Ooh, nice. Speed and health. I can get behind that. Speed and health. Go for some of these. Okay, nice little success. Throw that in there. Ooh, that's a good roll, though. I'm gonna keep this. This could be a decent bruiser lifesteal uh, build, just not on Bologna, because she does not need crit chance. It's a very awkward unit to build. All right, any unit without crit chance, just it kind of defies the gear that you currently have, because most of the gear that you roll, 
you probably rolled because it has offensive stats like crit chance and crit damage, right? So you're not prob you're probably not going to have many chess pieces laying around with no crit chance. That was an awful last roll there. So we're going to call it quits on that one. And let's just go ahead and craft a few more rings. Bring that epic craft meter up so that we can have another shot at a chess piece. Okay, not too great there. Come on. Nope. You know, back in the day... <laughs> I'm just gonna drop one of these on you guys. Back in the day, um, there was no 10 craft. You just had to single craft every piece of gear one at a time. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Okay, let's try one more time for a chess piece. An epic craft, and... Oh! Why is it always effectiveness and effect resistance on the same piece? Always so disappointing. Okay, and that is going to be... Oh, that's also going to be a pretty decent one there. Let's give this last piece a shot and see what we can come up with. Come on, speed. No, double flat health. Triple flat health. That's a plus nine. Right then. On that, <laughs> on that note, I think that's a sign for me to stop crafting. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more Epic 7 content, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, take care.